And starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Nicholas Qualick. Thank you for watching KX News. What would the implications of making marijuana legal for recreational use be? That's what lawmakers have been considering now for months. And today that discussion continued. Robert Sir was there and has reaction in tonight's top story. North Dakota's Interim Judiciary Committee heard testimony for over two hours Tuesday morning. The topic, whether or not to allow recreational use of marijuana. But after that meeting, some individuals left with more questions than answers. People who are using marijuana tend to miss more days of work. And when they are at work, they don't function to their full potential. That's just some of the testimony lawmakers heard Tuesday as they study the pros and cons of marijuana legalization before the next session in 2021. The committee heard from both sides of the matter, including Workforce Safety and Insurance Agency attorney Jody Bjorsen, who told the committee someone hurt on the job while under the influence of a controlled substance would not be compensated. With recreational use of marijuana uh, being illegal, that would fall into that provision if, in fact, um, it can be proven that the use of an intoxicant or an illegal drug caused that work injury, then we don't pay for that. But that could change if marijuana use is made legal. One of those pushing for legalization is David Owen, the chairman of Legalize ND. I don't think it's moral and just to put someone in prison for a substance that's objectively safer than alcohol. I don't think it's right to ruin someone's life when they didn't harm anybody. However, Dr. Joel Blanchard with Sanford Health says people could be hurt if recreational marijuana is approved, according to a study in Colorado where it is legal. What it showed is that the risk of a crash was up to seven times greater in marijuana users versus the general public. That means someone who's not using any drugs or alcohol or other drugs. Representative Shannon Roars Jones saw a bill defeated in the last session that would have decriminalized small amounts of marijuana. This time, she tells me things are becoming more clear should recreational use be approved. I think we're getting to the point where we're starting to talk about and learn the things that we need to related to safety, uh, related to, you know, different uh, regulatory structures. And I think we got some, I think the committee got some good information today from Mr. Owen about the regulatory structure that is set up in his proposed measure. That effort to get recreational legalization on the ballot still has a long way to go. Nearly 13,500 signatures need to be gathered by July 6th, and so far they have collected about 11% of that goal. If they're not collected, legalization in North Dakota could go up in smoke. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Robert Sir. The committee also heard testimony this morning on what impact legalizing recreational use could have on the medical marijuana industry and if both products could be sold in the same store. The Great American Comeback. That was